Okay, guys. So, don't know how good this is going to be. Wow, I look really fun. Okay, focus. See, it's doing good now. Okay, um, I'm going to be doing a review on the T Unkyo THX 9400, something like that, HTS 9400. Um, it's an amazing home theater system. I have got to say that. To be honest, I haven't used all the features. Um, I've had this thing for maybe a week maybe two weeks there's so many features on this thing it's unreal um and another good reason to that have it hooked up to my computer not hooked up to TV and an Xbox and a PS3 and a freaking Blu-ray and all that crap yeah I don't have it hooked up like most people probably will I basically spent seven hundred something dollars to get a $1,200 retail price amazing home theater system for a computer anyways let's get to it there's the speakers pretty sure they probably have Kevlar woven in them a little bit it's always good right there's your front speakers you have five inch cones one inch soft dome tweeter same thing on center speaker and same thing on the left front speaker right front left front Okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know. I have my screen on top of my center speaker. No biggie. That's why I'm keeping the cloth on it right there. That it came in. Um, your back speakers, they, uh, you can pop this off because just got to put your hand behind there. And it comes off just like that. You have five and one fourth inch back speakers. I uh, have, have the same old soft dome tweeter right there. And... Right there's your thing to connect it back on all these. You have your THX Onkyo on every single one. Uh, right here is my front and center speaker ones. Right there. And just plug it back in like so. And it's back in there tight. I have my speakers hooked up with 14 gauge wire. Um, that's actually just a little bit of aluminum on the outside. No biggie. Because you scotch it down, turns into copper. Uh, let's see. Let me put the camera down here. We'll move the speaker out. And we'll turn it around. And right there is your back. Um, yeah, that's not coming in too clear, is it, guys? Okay, well, anyways, that is 24 karat right there. And just plug in there. It's terminals. So you twist, uh, you twist them and stuff. Uh, they're ready for banana plugs. 14 gauge wire that I put into it fit perfectly well. Went in great. Sounds phenomenal. Oh my. Um, here is. Don't know if my webcam will reach or not. Okay, it looks like it will. Right here's your receiver. THX certified, of course, like everything else. Uh, it's not that big of a box, to be quite honest. So, it's kind of a roomier receiver to be pushing out those amount of watts. You have your setup microphone that I totally just forgot to show you. It says setup microphone out there. Uh, this one comes with a Odyssey a uh, 2 EQ setup microphone um, you definitely want to hook this baby up to be honest I thought it would ruin my sound it actually didn't right there's Odyssey I thought it would ruin the sound it actually did really phenomenal great piece of work right here love it and it has plenty of wire as you see plenty of wire alright um, Go to your, uh, uh, oh wait, let me show you the remote here. We got a wonderful remote that they give you. It's set up for, you can basically do everything. There's your zone 2 option to hook up uh, a, uh, two speakers in a separate room. Uh, there's your power on your source thing. Uh, basically all your normal stuff here. Muting, display, all that stuff. Now... If you hit this button right here, it says setup. You hit it on the receiver. Makes your screen go black. Yes, we know. 
no biggie though uh, you can go into your options right here you can go into your speaker setup uh, level calibration <laughs> hang on y'all gonna hear your crackling and stuff you go in here and your left your speaker. basically all your speakers um, I have them turn up the broadcasters. Honestly, I'm going to turn them down because at high volumes, it will cause a little bit of distortion. And the distortion isn't going to come to play with. So, I would say turn them down to about six. I'm going to turn them up like I have did. Because, uh,. Turning them up like I did and <laughs> didn't work too well. Um, it still does really phenomenal though. Uh, now we can move on to the receiver again. Put the remote back over here. Uh, you have all your settings: BD slash DVD, uh, VCR, cable satellite, game, auxiliary. Your auxiliary is going to be for like your USB and stuff like that. Um, like your left and right audio right there, all that great stuff. Uh, you have your tuner, which is the radio. Um, got your radio, TV and CD, uh, port. Your port's going to be for your uh, iPod, stuff like that. I don't really have to have it. Some people think they have to. Net's going to be for your network because this is a network receiver. So, that's always a good thing. You know what? I probably just told you wrong. What the heck's the port button do? Okay, well, the port button does something. You all can figure that out. Because apparently the USB button does this crap right here. Um, your tone, to be quite honest, apparently... I just now figured out how to use the tone and treble and stuff. Because, uh... Apparently on game, it won't let you do the tone and stuff. Um, you have several options. You have uh, TV Logic. This is just on movie slash TV. You have your all channel stereo, full mono, theater, dimensional. Uh, you have direct. You have mono. Also, it shows you right here your speakers that are lighting up. Uh, you have your uh, Dolby Digital 2 movie thingy. You have Neo 6 Cinema. You have THX Cinema. You have THX Cinema plus Neo 6 in there with DTS encoded with it. And then you're back to your TV logic. Same thing with movie. You have, uh, I mean, music. You have your full uh, mono. You have your direct to stereo. Uh, the Dolby Music, have Neo 6 Music, THX Music, THX Music with DTS encoded, and Neo 6. You also have Orchestra, Unplugged Studio Mix, and then you're back to All Channel Stereo. For game, you have All Channel Stereo, Full Mono, Theater Dimensional, Direct, PLX Game, THX Games, THXIS Games, uh, game RPG, game action, game rock, sports, and then you're back to all channel stereo. You have your dimmer button right here, which will dim it down for night time if you want. Your memory, well, don't know what the fudge that does. Uh, tuning mode, yeah, good luck finding out what that one does. Uh, your display is going to be for your screen right here. You press your display button, it'll tell you all your crap right there and everything. And then it'll go away. Uh, setup, like I said, this is for, in case you haven't found your remote yet, um, you have your button thingy right there. Then you can have your little enter and setup button. Um, right there is for your zone 2 on and off. Uh, yeah, you can't see that, but zone 2 is over here to the left, and zone off is right there. Uh, that's pretty much it that I can tell you, um. Once you go back to uh, game, you hit your little THX button there. I'll kick on your blue light, and it'll turn it to the best setting from what I've found. Uh, that's pretty much it that I can really show you.
Just saying. Except for the back of the receiver. Because the back of the receiver is a very main part, I would assume. Uh, you have your terminals and stuff right there. You have uh, your Zone 2 output right in there, as you can see. Your HDMI outputs, which of course I'm not really using too much, as you see. I'm only using two. And then there's my PC in because I'm using it for computer. Now, right here's a bunch of other crap. <laughs> um, let's try to turn this baby around some more. Uh, there's your component video. Uh, there's your digital in, opticals. Then your signables. And then uh, right there's your remote controller. Then right here's uh, your antenna, your AM and FM1, and then there's your videos and all that crap down through there that you can look up on the internet because I'm running out of time on my thing and I don't know what wonderful little YouTube will let me use and what they won't let me use. Anywho, to be quite honest, I don't know how good this microphone will really pick up the volume and stuff on this amazing surround sound but right here is at 55 volume after turning it down um, let's, let's go to Spotify here have us a little bit of dubstep here we'll do uh, we'll do uh, let's do right in by Skrillex <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll speed it up. Okay, that's pretty much it for it. I've got to show you this subwoofer, so let's show you it. You know, you ain't gonna be able to really see too much. There's your THX M1 Onkyo symbol again. There's your blue light. That's a, it's a very big subwoofer, to be quite honest. It does put out a whole lot of boom. That's uh, being quite honest right there. Definitely has some boom in it. Well, I hope you all enjoy the video. If you have any more questions, please comment. Look down at the bottom. Hit the wonderful comment thing right there and type a little bit of stuff up and ask me a question about it. I'll be sure to answer you. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and hallelujah for the wonderful Onkyo THX9400 HTS.